Hi everyone, I'm Assalamu Alaikum. I'm Muhammad Suleiman, aircraft engineering instructor. Welcome again to my new video about Boeing 777 power plant chapter 71 for G90 engines. Let's together test our current working knowledge and enhance our learning and recall. So, dear technicians, engineers and pilots, let's join the quiz. Check out the topics covered. Question number one. What is the hazard area around the inlet of the G90 engine at idle power? The answer is A. What is the cause of severe HPC vibration during initial start in G90 engines? Answer is A. Uneven cooling of the HPC rotor. Question number 3. How long should the engine be idle after ground runs of less than 70% N1? The answer is A. 10 minutes. Question number 4. Where is the EAI exhaust duct located on the inlet cowl? Answer is B. 9 position. Question number 5. Can the upper and lower halves of the inlet cowl be interchanged with their inlet with other inlet cowls? The answer is B. No. Question number 6. What material are the fan cowl made of? There is A. Graphite epoxy structures. Question number 7. Where do the hinges attach on the fan cowl? There is B. The fan case. Question number 8. Where does the yellow stripe adjacent to the collar indicate? There is A. The whole open rod is locked. Question number 9. How do you know if the locking collar is engaged? Answer is A. A yellow stripe is visible adjacent to the collar. Question number 10. In what order should you close the thrust reversal latches? Answer is B. From forward to aft. Question number 11. What holds the thrust reversal to the fan case? There is A. V band latch. Question number 12. How many latches hold the thrust reversal together? And the answer is B. 13. Question number 13. What is the approximate time required to open two fan cowls at the same time? There is C. 50 seconds. Question number 14. How long does it take to close one thrust reversal half? There is B. 25 seconds. Question number 15. Which component do you need to remove before removing the engine? There is B. Fan cowls. Question number 16. How do you change the roll angle of the in engine to align it with the transportation stand? The answer is C. Use the aft hoist assembly. Question number 17. How do you change the roll angle of the engine to align it with the transportation stand? There is C. The aft hoist assembly. This question is repeated. Question number 18. How many engine mounts are there and what are they called? There is B, 2, forward and aft mount. Question number 19. Are the bootstrap assemblies for the 90 series and 100 series engines interchangeable? There is B, no. 
Question number 20. What are the load limits for the forward dynamometer? Answer is A. 10,000 pounds. Question 21. Do you need... Sorry. sorry. What do you need to disconnect when changing an engine? Answer is A. The left thrust reversal V groove lage band. Question number 22. How many dynamometers does the forward bootstrap assembly use? Answer is A. 1. Question number 23. What connects the aft fan case to the strut? Answer is A. The forward lower engine mount. Question number 24. What does the aft engine mount transmit to the strut? Answer is A. Thrust loads. Question number 25. How many vertical tension bolts connect the turbine rear frame to the strut? Answer is C. 8. Question number 26. What type of bolts should you use when installing an engine? The answer is B. New vertical tension bolts. Question number 27. What is the function of the solenoid valves and the PDOS? PDOS pump power pick. Answer is C. To open and close the related cowl. Question number 28. What is the purpose of the engine debris monitoring system test? Answer is C. To test the chip, the chip counters and reset them. watching please like and subscribe my channel I shall make more such informative videos on aircraft system air legislation and craft metals practices follow me on LinkedIn to download printable notes that I have made